Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $96,832.79. In the past year I am up $39,611.38. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $13,437.34. On Friday, I had a very green day. As you can see, I was up $3,736.83 during the day. And then overnight, I am up $1,931.18. There have been a lot of changes to my portfolio, so let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $200 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, $363. I'm selling Disney, $130 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, I am down $27. I'm selling Robinhood, $16 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, I am down $274. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return $615. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. Total return, I am down $260. I'm selling SoFi $10 covered calls. These expire June 21st. Total return, I am down $300. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $4. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19th. Total return, $4. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $181.79. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $24,855.74. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.11. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $14,919. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $113. My average cost, $60. Total return, $15,900. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $17.87. My average cost, $17.53. Total return, $335. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $171.64. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $2,916. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $66.47. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,754. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $26.59. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, I am down $720. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $39.93. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $124.10. This is a margin account. 
My margin total is $106,350.45. My margin used is $101,809.43, which leaves me with $4,541.02 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $47,729.37. That says green buffer before I hit my margin call. My annual interest rate is 8%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $20.20. So if you're new here, I invest in stocks and options. Right now I'm mainly doing covered calls. And if you've been watching my portfolio updates recently, there have been a lot of changes. So let's talk about what's changed. So Disney, I was already selling covered calls on Disney, but the strike price was different. I used to have a strike price of $140, but I lowered it to $130 because at this point, it doesn't look like Disney will hit $140 anytime soon. So I lowered the strike price to $130 in order to gain more premium from my covered calls. Something else that changed, SoFi. I was selling SoFi $9 covered calls. However, they report earnings tomorrow and I'm scared that if it goes well and SoFi goes way, way up, I'll miss out on gains if it goes over, you know, $9. I chose the strike price of $10 instead just so I could gain more money if it were to actually go up. Now, will SoFi actually reach $10 if it goes well? I don't know. But at this point, I'm confident that if it does go well, SoFi will go very, very high. So in order to avoid missing out on too many gains, I increased the strike price to $10 rather than $9 at the cost of getting less premium for my covered calls. So I basically took the opposite approach that I took with Disney. I increased the strike price instead of lowered it. Verizon, I believe I was selling the $38 covered call. I increased it to the $39. Right now Verizon is hovering around 40, so I think that was a good call. And lastly, Google. Google, I was selling the $170 covered call. But as you can see, Google is now above $170. It's at 171. And I want to keep my Google shares. So because of that, I chose a higher strike price and a further out expiration date. $180. I chose a strike price that's above the current price. And if it reaches $180, then I'll have to readjust again and choose an even higher strike price because I do want to keep my Google shares. And that's pretty much all the changes that I've made to my portfolio. I know I made a lot, but let's see what happens. Earning season is always very tricky because Depending on how the earnings go, stocks can go way up, it could go way down. We'll see what happens. The one I'm going to pay most attention to tomorrow is SoFi. They report before the market opens. So pre-market. And let's see what's the expected. So... Yeah. Available today pre-market. Estimated is two cents per share. Oh boy, I can't wait to see what happens. Hopefully it's good news. We'll see. But yeah, SoFi is the stock I'm going to pay attention to tomorrow. Hopefully their earnings go well. I'll keep on making portfolio updates. I'll let you guys know if the SoFi earnings went well, if they did not go well, if I gained a lot of money, if I lost a lot of money. I'll keep you guys updated. So please like and subscribe if you guys want to see more. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.